This will be a short video on how to bring a scout into the sink, how to take a scout out of the sink on an individual basis. Now it's going to uh, assume that you have either synced your unit or you are about ready to sink your unit. So we'll talk about uh, in both cases still how you can make it so the sink ignores the scout basically which is what you do when you take a scout in and out of the sink you're telling the sink to ignore him. At the same time when you're activating your unit you may have some scouts that you don't have membership IDs for yet and you want the sink to ignore them or you uh, are they new and uh, you're going to add them and then you're adding their member ID and you need to sync them. You could have a scout that's left at your unit and you want to take him out of the sink or if you're activating the sink that scout's left you don't want to sync that scout uh, in your unit. You're in complete control over who in your unit you sync and who you don't sync. So let me just talk about a couple of things. The first thing is when you're in your dashboard, take a look at your unit identification. If there is an A next to your unit number with a circle around it, that means that somebody has activated the youth advancement sync for your unit. Uh, if there's no A there, that means you have to activate it. So you'll have to go through the activation steps. I wanted to point that out. That's, that's the way you find out if you you know, if somebody's already activated your unit for the sink. Okay, so let's talk about a scout that we want to um, ignore, uh, have the uh, Youth Advancement Sync ignore. Now, if your unit has not been synced yet and you don't want to include that scout in the sync process, make sure there is not a green shield next to his name. If you want the Youth Advancement Sync to recognize him, then make sure that there is a green shield next to his name. Now the green shield, as you see, is not here on the scout. That green shield represents that we have approved him in our unit. So let me show you how you bring that shield up and take it down. You click on the scout's name. You scroll down to his membership area. under current membership you will find your troop and that green shield occurs when the position approved box is checked so if you check it and update it there is a little green check mark now next to current membership and when you go and look at his name on a roster there will be a little green shield there now if you are syncing your unit you want that there for all of the scouts that uh, you want to have synced. For all the scouts that you don't want to have synced you want to take those away. So let me show you again how you take that away. You click on their name, you click on their membership, under current membership you find your unit you uncheck the box under position approved and update it. That takes the check mark away so when you're looking at the roster he no longer has a check mark there. That's also the way you take him out of the sink. Now let me show you first how to bring a scout into the sink. Now this is assuming that you've activated the sink for your unit so if you haven't done that activation yet, this part you can ignore, but for later on, when you have a new scout come into your unit, you would type in their information and you would put him in the unit uh, like you normally do. And we have user guides that tell you how to do that. You, know, you have him in the unit, you go into his membership, go under your unit, make sure the position approved box is checked and you always can know that because you'll get that green check mark next to his name and now he is has the green check mark when you go into his 
account area where it has all of his information, you'll see the green check mark. If your unit has activated the sync, you will also see a, a yellow bar that says that he's not set up yet for the sync. Click here to activate it. If you click there on the bar, it will sync him. It will activate the sync for him. And then when you look at him on the roster, you will see the A with the circle around it, which indicates that he is in sync, that he's activated for the sync. So now Tess Johnson here is activated for the sync. Now let's say he's been in your troop for you know, a while. He's been synced for a while. He ages out or he becomes inactive and you want to take him out of the sync. You click on his name, go back into the membership area, click on the current membership, take away that position proof uh, check mark. Now he's, if you look at him on the roster, he no longer has the green check mark and he no longer has the A with the circle around it. That indicates that he is no longer synced. So we have taken him out of the sync and the sync will ignore him. So it's as easy as that. You take the check mark away and the sync ignores him. Add the check mark. The sync will prompt you if you need to activate the sync for that individual scout. You activate the sync for that individual scout and he's good to go. So again, if we want to bring him back in, we click on his name. We click on his membership because he needs to be approved. Click on position approved. Go back to his page. On the yellow bar, you click to activate the sync. And now he is in sync. So if you looked at it, look at him in a a roster, you will see that A with a circle around it. It's as easy as that.